Van Shan, Toyota Tires, Senior Manager of Events, Sponsorships Motorsports. And this is the 2020 trip past the E, where you're going to find 12 world debut vehicles, ranging from tandem wide body Corvettes to Overland Jeep Gladiators. Take a look. My name is Ben Craven. I brought a 1970 Chevelle SS uh, to Toyota Tread Pass for this year. Um, appreciate the opportunity uh, from Toyota Tires again uh, to display what, we, what we're all about. Um, we're from St. Louis, Missouri. Um, this car features a uh, Speedtech Extreme chassis. It's all about performance, got minimal body mods. Um, it's in 2019 Porsche GT3 white. Um, it's a thousand horsepower. It's a Magnuson 2650 blown 418 LS3 in it. Uh, six speed manual trans, gotta have that man pedal. All about function. Wanna feel the road with it. Couldn't rely on anything else other than Toy R, Triple Eight R's uh, to perform that task and transfer all that meat we're producing to the ground. The car was extremely challenging in the sense of classic muscle cars. It's always a surprise when you start to peel back the layers of the onion on what you're going to actually be getting into. This car had a uh, lot of rust and stuff like that that kind of came as a surprise and we just ran with it. Just like in 2020, it's all about overcoming and adapting what comes at you. So that's what we had to do with this build. It turned out what we feel is incredible. It's got a lot of different people involved, from gateway powder coating to rotiform wheels, wizard cooling, taking care of all of the all the heat we're producing with this thing. Uh, complete street driven vehicle, absolute urban street slayer. It's designed to do one thing, that's intimidate everything else out on the road. We coined our build the American Bully because that's exactly what it is. We're really proud of it, it's cool. We appreciate, like I said, the opportunity from Toyo again, you know, we some country boys from the Midwest, you know, to be able to come out here to LA and show y'all what we're about. Uh, it means a lot to us and uh, we had to represent, even though it's virtual this year and everything, we wanted to give the car community, as well as ourselves, something still, you know, to look forward to and be about in a year that uh, is a little bit different, a little bit more unique than the other ones. So, uh, that's our build for this year. And, can't wait to see what we, uh, we got coming for next. It's a 55 Mercedes Goldwing, kind of like we had on the cover of W4, but this is a chop top version, so we cut the roof off of it. It's sitting on a 2003 SLK 32 chassis. Basically, we chopped the whole SLK up and we mounted this body on top of it. It's got the clinched fenders. We wanted a really wide version of kind of like a DTM style custom. Kind of really unique. Windshield. We went through about five windshields and I wanted to use a real, real glass one. So this is actually from a 57 Porsche Speedster. I always wanted to do the exhaust coming out the side, sort of like a Sterling Moss style. Really difficult, but uh, our guy Alan was able to make it work. The motor is just, you know, it's a factory 32 supercharged with a lot of means when it's on. The interior is a little bit different this time. What I wanted to do was Kind of the bottom part of the interior is like the modern version of a SLK. It's it's been highly modified, but the center console is still a SLK. The top part is an actual vintage, original 55 Goldwing dash. This lid is something I've always wanted to try. It's pretty cool. It's motorized. That's cool. Got my signature like vintage trunk with the amp inside of it. Uh, under here is a bunch of woofers. This is my seventh build with this color. I like this color a lot, it's an Ardo gray, but I always mix it up, man. Something that all my cars have is one stripe on one side, passenger side fender, and the side always has a mirror. I like doing the trunks. I always do that with the suitcases with the either money in them or Audio system, always HREs. All of my builds have HREs on them. It's something that's really important to me. I usually don't do air ride on my cars. I'm not the biggest fan of air ride, but airlift gave us the easiest system ever. Uh, our guy Alan installed it. It just works perfect. So looking forward to playing with that for the first time. I want to thank uh, Toyota Tires and Fred Pass for being like family with us, and uh, Dot Magazine, of course, for featuring my cars. 
And my name is John Sarkeesian, or you can look me up at Sling500 on Instagram to see the rest of my builds. And uh, thank you. See you next year. Hi, my name is Scott Kanamura. I'm from KMA Racing in Gardena, California. This is my 1993 Toyota 4Runner. It's totally gutted. Like, we just cut everything out. The only thing that's really left is the outside shell. Totally a uh, two frame chassis with a 4 9 inch turbo 400 transmission, uh, a 3.4 liter stroke uh, 2 JZ motor. Uh, the goal is a thousand horsepower. Integrated a lot of carbon fiber, some drag racing interior pieces. Even have like an old school green button Alpine 7909. Pretty big tubs in the back. We have uh, 15 inch wide tires in the back. Uh, four link suspension. The name of the truck is uh, 5150 Lux. There is an Instagram page and a Facebook page. If you want to pay tribute to the 80s mini truck, uh, we have a five and a half foot, uh, foot uh, rag top in it. Also did a Tesla style, modified Tesla style mirror on it. We have a uh, <laughs> Volk Racing Group C was from 1990 that's been rebuilt to an 18 by 14 inch wide rim with the Toyo drag radios, 315, 35, 18. And in the front, we also have the Group C wheels that are 18 by 7 with a Toyo Proxy Sport with a 215, 40, 18. I just wanted to take the time to thank everybody that helped pitch in on this thing. Boys from uh, Kent Designs, uh, Mike from Bullet Fabrications, uh, even to the guys that brought us food when we needed it. I'd just like to thank Toyo Tires most of all. And we just, again, my name is Scott. I'm from KMA Racing, and this is my 1993 Toyota Forum. Hi, my name is Alex Lawn, owner of Toxic Garages. This is my 2020 C8 Corvette. I wanted to buy the car because I just love the style of it. I've had two other Camaros, still have a 2019 Camaro that I love. That was a SEMA build. And when this came out, the, the lines on it were gorgeous, the car was gorgeous, the performance on it was amazing. First modification that I did for the car was the air suspension. Had to do the air suspension. I've always had all of my cars on air suspension. Absolutely love it. So again, Ray over at Air Ride Equipment did it for me, mocked everything up, full prototype, first one out. Rides great, handles amazing, I love it. Another thing that I wanted to mention about my build is all the handcrafted custom carbon fiber work that we have on it. We have, of course, the mirror. We've got the little giant next to it. We've got the roof. we got some of the front. A whole lot of carbon over this car. Big thanks to my buddy Ryan over at C7 Carbon in San Diego. And of course, you've got to make a car like this that looks this amazing, sound this amazing. Huge thanks to Borla Exhaust and everyone over there. Prototype. Mola attack sounds amazing and really wakes this car up and makes it sound like the way it should. I love the mid-engine on it and it just the the power to weight ratio and the handling on it is absolutely amazing. I knew when I bought the car that I wanted to do full air suspension, which of course we accomplished, and I wanted to do the body kit, but really didn't know how to do the body kit. Big thanks to these guys for getting me into them, introducing me to everyone, and we were able to then turn out this amazing kit from Mira over at Pandem. And of course, the guys at Genius and everyone over there are just amazing builders and installers. So I love the kit. Again, my first time seeing it in person and they killed it. So we ended up picking out these wheels because we wanted to go with a, a nice classic but timeless style that was gonna go forever. Obviously, I love the rendering that Mira did of the car. Running a set of wheels very similar to these, almost identical. And again, I know I'm gonna probably wrap the car. So I wanted to have a very clean style to not take away or overpower the body kit, but just to flow with it. And these wheels came out absolutely amazing from Rich over at LD97. It's just amazing. We're still gonna do a couple little modifications to it. We're gonna end up doing the hardware on the wheels to match the interior color, just like the center cap is. And then obviously gotta wrap them in a Toyo tire with those Proxy r 8 rs which just finishes them off. I wanna give a huge thanks to Toyo Tires and everyone here for putting on this event. I'm Alex Lawn. My Instagram is Toxic Garages, and this is my build. Hi, I'm, I'm Mitch Button uh, from Button Built, and this is my uh, 2020 Jeep Gladiator here at Toyo Tires, uh, Tread Pass 3D. It was done in seven days. 
which is strange for a SEMA build. This was a different animal for us. We wanted to do something that we could drive everywhere, anywhere, get out of LA, which has been really great lately because LA hasn't been that fun to be in. The Toyo tires, uh, Open Country MTs, 40 inch, uh, 13 fives, KMC uh, hex beadlock wheels, and uh, the suspension, the body, and, uh, and everything kind of that physically takes shape on the truck is from Metal Float. They're up in Sacramento. Back to 55's recovery gear. Um, which they, they might call it recovery gear for the police, the fire department, um, military, and, and it's, it's tried and true. Rebel off roads roof rack and bed rack. Toyo's 40 is on the roof. That was a pain in the ass. There's just a few of us trying to get that thing up there. Uh, the rifle case is here. I've loved these bikes since I was a kid, and I've always wanted one, but this is the first one we bought. Built while building this truck, we bought three more because we want to match these to all of our military trucks. It's called a Rokon. This is a 63, and we did the upholstery to match the inside of the truck, um, paint to match the truck with the VersaHaul carrier. This will stay on the truck at all times. So driving around LA, shopping, food, McDonald's, wherever we're going, this always stays in the back. So it's got a really cool presence. In the bed, we got Pelican's cooler. That thing will, I, I've never seen a cooler keep something cold for so long. It's like a week. On Max Tracks, recovery boards on the side. So, these kind of work where you know you're in the sand, you're stuck. You take one off, flip it, acts as a shovel, and then after uh, you know, after you dig it out, shovel in the tire, and then you get traction from the out. Go back here. We've got some uh, the Daft Punk style helmets for uh, the motorcycles when we're out roading out. All the Pelican flashlights and the winch control, everything we keep stored on the back panel there. Uh, Ramp mounts did uh, the dash components, which hold the large iPad. We do a Ferrari every year, and since 2020 was different, we wanted to be different to do something that we could actually drive every day. And it, it, I love the Ferraris, they're a lot of fun, but having a truck that, you know, uh, at the last minute, we got it up on the trailer and as the rear wheel got up, the trailer broke in half. So we drove the truck from Vegas to here. My name's Mitch Button, and this is my 2020 Gladiator. We named it BBJT, and uh, we're here at Toyota Tires Pit Pass. Greetings.